We're talking about a new study today because it gives us the first real data about how long this coronavirus can survive on surfaces. That's important because every number so far has been based on data from SARS in 2003. Now we aren't relying on an old virus anymore. So let's jump into the study and break down the facts of what it does and doesn't say. The research was done by the National Institutes of Health and CDC with scientists at Princeton and UCLA. So this chart shows the basic results. They tested five environments, aerosol, copper, cardboard, stainless steel, and plastic. The main findings, that it can remain aerosolized or in the air for up to three hours. That it can survive on stainless steel or plastic for 72 hours, cardboard for about 24 hours, or copper for about four hours. So these numbers represent how long the virus can survive, but that doesn't mean that it always will. We know the virus's survivability is impacted by outside factors like temperature and humidity, but this test was in a controlled environment. Temperature between 70 to 73 degrees and 40% humidity. That means that in a perfect lab environment, the virus can survive this long. But in a real world situation, those other factors could lower survivability. The main takeaway? that we should be cautious of most surfaces right now, even ones like copper. And make sure you avoid touching your face and mouth, and as always, keep on washing your hands. With your Verify, I'm Jason Puckett.